Okay, I'm I'm live. I'm going to turn the camera around right now. Okay. Hello, everybody. Songbird Mom Drum. Well, hello. This is Pastor Gloria. I want to say God, God bless everybody. And, um, well, hello. I'm glad that you joined. Again, I'm glad you joined. And for everybody that joined, and God bless you. And to all those who, who will watch the replay, God bless you all. And you know, um, this is kind of hard to bring up, but I'm going to bring it up anyway. You know, tomorrow's not promised to nobody. Tomorrow isn't promised to anyone. Hello, hello, Z Han, Z, Z Hain. Tomorrow isn't promised. Welcome. Tomorrow isn't promised to nobody. And each time we lose a friend or someone, you know, a very dear member of the family, it makes us one. It makes us really stop and think. It makes us really stop and think. Um, a lot of us take take life for granted. You know, a lot of people go on and do do what they want to do. You know, they don't give a second thought about their spiritual spirituality. You know, you know anything like that. And to to the people that doesn't even believe in in Jesus, that's very sad. It's very very sad. You know, and I know I've been I've been accused. Um, of calling out, you know, like pro false prophets, things like that. And I wasn't pointing at one certain person. I wasn't pointing at one certain person. Why are you sad? I'm not really sad. I'm not really sad. It's just that sometimes a person needs to really take a, a long look. You know, again, tomorrow isn't promised to nobody. And we have to make sure that we're right with Jesus. We have to make sure that we're right with the Lord. Okay. I'm glad you joined. And um, I'm on here to do my devotionals. And um, just talk a little bit. Um, I guess we have to search our own selves, you know, um, examine our own selves. And in some areas that, that we're kind of weak in. We need to, to get in to more prayer. Can we join? What do you mean? I'll be doing my devotion. I'm gonna be reading my devotionals here in a, in a few minutes. Um, it's, it's, it's really hard. I know I kind of go in circles, I don't mean to, but it's kind of hard to talk about some things, you know, because people take some things I say the wrong way and it's very hard for a minister. It's not easy for a minister. It's very rewarding. It's very rewarding. And I feel honored and privileged to be a minister, a disciple of Christ, whatever you want to say. I, I live in Illinois, in Illinois. And, um, but it isn't easy because we are like many other people, we will be laughed at, persecuted. Wasn't Jesus? Wasn't Jesus? That's a personal question. But he, he was persecuted, you know, and, but it's, but like I say, it's, it's, the Lord, the Lord Jesus is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. He's a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. I'm, I'm moving kind of slow today, and but that's okay too. This is my scope, right? This is my scope. Yes, he is. Yes, songbird mom. Where's your picture at? They put your pretty picture on there. I like, I like would be, would be a friend. And we're all um, in the body of those that love the Lord. We are all in the body of Christ. Okay. Tenster two thousand nine. Join me. Hello, I'm Pastor Gloria. Welcome to my scope. Hello. God bless you. And um, like I said, sometimes 
if some of you had have known me three or four years ago, um, I would have never been on Periscope. I would have never done my YouTube videos. I've been on YouTube now over three years, this past January. My YouTube channel is Gloria Drummond. Jesus is the answer. That's my, my YouTube channel. We're talking only about God. Yes, mainly, Blonde Wolf Ken 11 joined. Hello, God bless you. And I was, I started to scope out, and you can always go watch over and watch the replay. Is um, tomorrow isn't promised to nobody. Tomorrow is not promised to no one. And we have to, I think that's boring. Well, um, sir or ma'am, whoever this is, if you don't like the subject, then you can exit the scope. You can exit it. And God bless you and have a wonderful, wonderful day. I will pray for you. But I, my job as a servant of the Lord, as a disciple of Christ, my job is to witness to the people, tell, tell people that Jesus loves them, unconditional. Okay, good luck. Pray for me. My name is Lila. I will, Lila. I will keep you in my prayer. You can't go wrong with Jesus. You cannot go wrong with Jesus. And the way this world, everything going on in this wicked world now, all we have to do is look around, you know, and Jesus is dead. No, he's not. Jesus lives. He arose. He was crucified on the cross, and then he arose three days later. He's sitting at the right hand of, side of his father. He's sitting at the right hand of his father in heaven. And uh, anyway, I'm going to start my, my devotions because I, I tend to go in circles I don't mean to. I just want to say, I want to reiterate again that Jesus loves you and we can cast our burdens on him. Okay, I'm going to read, start, since I have one, that's okay. Jesus always. Jesus always. All right, today, now I didn't read him yesterday, so I'm going to read for the 28th and for the 29th. Oh yeah, like I started to, like I started to say a while ago. Yes, like like I started to say a while ago. If if some of these people, some of you folks out there would have known me three or four years ago, four years ago, I would have never been on YouTube or Periscope, none of the social media, because of my nerves and being kind of introverted, shy. Uh, back years ago when my daddy was a minister, we had a little church, but God, exactly. I could get up in front of a whole congregation of people and sing. I could play piano, but as far as doing something like this where people could see me, no. And we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. So now on with my devotional. <laughs> I'm going to read from March 28th. All righty, March 28th. Okay, as you come to know me more intimately, you grow increasingly aware of your sins. That's true. This presents you with a choice to focus on your flaws and failures or to rejoice in my glorious gift of salvation. Yes. When you keep your focus on my sacrifice for your sins, you live in the joyful awareness that you are wonderfully loved. Yes. There is no greater love than mine. And it is yours forever. The best response to such a fathomless gift is to love me with all your heart. Love him with all your heart. Tragically, many people think they have little or even nothing for me to forgive. Yet, yeah. they have they've been deceived by the prevailing lie that there is no absolute truth. They believe good and evil are relative terms, so they see no need for a savior. No need for a savior. These deluded ones do not seek my forgiveness, my forgiveness, and their sins remain unpardoned. The evil ones' deceptions have darkened their minds, but I am the light of the world in Russia, and my light can shine through you into their lives because you are my follower. Amen.
Amen. Hallelujah. You never walk in darkness. You have the light of my life. The light of life. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And the verses to this, this one is Psalm 13, verses 5 and 6. John 15, verse 13. Matthew 22, verse 37 and 38. And John 8, 12. Psalms 13, 5 and, yes, verse 5 and 6. I can read them again. Psalms 13, verse 5 and 6. John 15, 13. 15, 13. Matthew 22, uh, verse 37 and 38. John 8, 12. And John 8, 12. Yes, yes. Glad you joined again, Blonde Wolf. Little Wolf Can 11. Glad you joined again. Alrighty. Okay, thank you, woman of God. You're very welcome. Okay, now for, now for, for today. This is for today. If you walk in the light, living close to me, my blood continually cleanses you from all sin. When you become aware of sins, I want you to confess them and seek my help in making needed changes. Yes, and that means for Sister Gloria as well. Nonetheless, your status with me is not based on confessing your sins quickly enough or thoroughly enough. The only thing that keeps you right with me is my perfect righteousness. Amen. Which I gave you freely and permanently when you joined my eternal family since, since you are mine. Gloriously attired in a robe of righteousness. I invite you to come confidently into my bright, my bright presence into his bright presence. Walking in the light of my presence blesses you in many ways. Good things are better and better and bad things are more bearable when you share them with me. That's true. Because we can always turn to, to the Lord. We can always turn to, to him. As you delight in my love, light, you can love other, other believers more fully and have fellowship with them. You are less likely to stumble or fall because sins are glaringly obvious in my holy light. Rejoice in my name all day long, enjoying my presence and exalting in my righteousness. Exalting in my righteousness. Amen. Hallelujah. All right, the verses for this one. Yes. I'm glad you, again, I'm glad that you joined Songbird Mom. The verses to this is 1 John 1 7 it's 1 John 1 7 Isaiah 61 10 yes I'm glad too Psalms 89 verses 15 and 16 yes 1 John 1 7 Isaiah 61 10 Psalm 89 verses 15 and 16 okay all right now the one for today yeah okay the one for today Psalm 61 10 Psalms 89 15 and 16 yes yes the one for today I'm going to sit back a little bit I am the light from on high that dawns upon you to give light to those who sit in darkness sometimes your circumstances are so difficult and confusing that you feel as if you're surrounded by darkness your mind offers up various solutions to your problems but you've already tried them without success. So you fret and wonder what to do next, feeling helpless and frustrated. At times like this, you need to look up and see my my light shining upon down on upon you. Gaze at me in childlike trust, resting in my presence. Let go of problem-solving efforts for a while. 
cease tr cease striving and know that I am God and that I need work in that area too because I'm a worrier I am a natural born worrier and I don't have to worry because the Lord always takes me through and thank you for the pretty the beautiful hearts hearts for Jesus but the Lord always takes me through always and I've said this many 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 times we don't we don't have to worry if we we are children of the hope most high God we don't have to worry but when we get into the carnal way of thinking and out of the spiritual way of thinking we worry we worry and fret okay let's see let go of problem solving efforts for a while cease striving and know that I am God I am God as you relax in my presence remember that I am the Prince of Peace Yes, he does. Many of the afflictions, but God delivers us. Yes, yes. Amen. I am the Prince of Peace. The more of me you absorb, the more peaceful you will be. You will be. Breathe. Breathe me in with each breath. Breathe Jesus in with each breath. I love that. After resting with me for a while, Tell me about your troubles, trusting me to help you with, with them. Stay close to me, my child, and I will guide your feet into the way of peace. The way of peace. And that the verses to this, okay, Luke chapter 1, verse 78 and 79. That's Luke chapter 1, verse 78 and 79. Psalms 46, verse 10, and Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. Hello. Okay, that's the one for that's the one for this one. Okay. Yes. All right. This is my second one. I'm gonna do this one first before I do the other one. Now, this is from March 28th. I didn't read them yesterday. As I told you before, when I first started, I didn't read them yesterday. So, the title of this one is God's Voice. All right. For this is commendable if, because of conscience toward God, one endures grief, suffering wrongfully. And that's 1 Peter 2.19. Billy Graham correct, correctly observed most of us follow our conscience as we fought as we follow like a wheelbarrow we push it in front of us in the directions we want to go to do so of course is a profound mistake yet all of us on occasion have failed to listen to the voice of the, that God planted in our hearts yes and all of us have suffered the consequences oh yeah big time big time God gave you a conscience for a very good reason to make your path conform to his will not our will but his will wise believers make it a practice to listen carefully to that quiet internal voice count yourself among the, that number when your conscience speaks listen and learn listen and learn in all likelihood God is trying to get his message through and in all likelihood it is a message that you desperately need to hear yes amen the beginning of backsliding means your conscience does not answer to the truth. Oswald Sanders said that. Amen. Amen. All right. Building a better you. Trust the quiet inner voice of your conscience. Treat your conscience as you would a trusted advisor. And listen to the still small voice of the Lord. All right. Now then for today, March the 29th, mountains mountaintops and valleys all right i sought the lord and he, he he heard me and delivered me from all my fears and this is in reference to psalms 34 4. i sought my i sought the lord and he heard me delivered me from all my fears it says we should not fear fear not for i am with thee fear not for i am with thee yes 34 4. yes Okay, every life, including yours, is an unfolding series of events. Some fabulous, some not so fabulous. Amen to that. And some downright 
disheartening. Yes. Fear not, for he is with us. Yes. Okay, it says, when you reach the mountaintops of life, praising God is easy. But when the storm clouds from, form overhead, your faith will be tested. Yes. He tests our faith. He tests our, our faith. Sometimes to the breaking point. As a believer, you can take comfort in this fact. Whenever you find yourself, whether at the top of the mountain or the depths of the valley, God is there. And because he cares for you, you can live courageously. Yes. Hallelujah. The next time you find your courage tested to the limit, remember that God is your shield and your strength. Yes. And the, the horn of our, see, the buckler and the horn of our salvation. I love this. He is your protector and your believer. I mean, and your deliverer. Your deliverer. Call upon him in your hour of need, and he will protect you. Psalms 91 is our shield. Yes, it is. I love Psalms 91. That's another thing I'm going to do. I'm going to read that here pretty soon. I'm going to start doing that on my scopes and on my on my YouTube videos, too. I'm going to start doing reading Psalms 91 for, for protection. Yes. All right. There comes a time when we simply have to face the challenges in our lives and stop backing down. John Eldridge said that. A lesson for the heart and soul. With God as your partner, you have nothing to fear. Why? Because you and God working together can handle absolutely anything that comes your way. And that is true. That's very true, people. So the next time you'd like an, an extra measure of courage, recommit yourself to a true one-on-one -on -one relationship with your Creator. When you sincerely turn to Him, He will never fail you. And that is so true. He never fails us. He never ever fails us. We may fail him. And of course, and then when we do, we, we dust ourselves off, pick ourselves up, and start over. Because we all make mistakes and there's nobody perfect. There's none righteous. God never fails us. No, he don't. He don't. <clears throat> you know. He will never fail us. No, not one. There's none righteous. No, not one. Exactly. Exactly. I love this. I love it. All right, now then, let's see, did I read the... No, I didn't read this one, did I? I don't think. Experiencing God day by day. Sometimes I can't think straight. There's just so much, sometimes so much that goes on in my, my personal life. It gets to where I, I, just, I just can't think straight. And, I, and I'll say, Lord, do my thinking for me, Lord. I ask you, do my thinking for me. <laughs> I understand, yes. Experiencing God day by day. Now, I haven't read this yet, have I? I don't think I have. <laughs> Bear with me. Bear with me, folks. Bear with me. And also, pray for me, too. Pray for Sister Gloria, Pastor Gloria. No, I haven't read this yet. No. No. Okay. I'm okay. I'm fine. March. March the 28th. All righty. Yes, indeed. Patty, is that you? Patty and Jordan? I heard that you that you changed your your thing on there. All right, this the title to this one is oriented by the scriptures, but the scriptures must be fulfilled. They all, but they now this book here gets kind of blurry. There's blurry. It's a brand new book, but there's it's some some of it's kind of blurry. But the scriptures must be fulfilled when they all deserted him and run ran away, and that's in reference to Mark. 14, 49, and 50. That's Mark 14, 49, and 50. Okay. I'm going to sit back and hold it, hold it out. Maybe it will be, it will be blurry. And some, some words are blurry. I don't know why, but they are. There are times when in the darkest moments of your life, the only comfort left for you is a word from God. Jesus faced the cruel injustice of a hostile world, but perhaps his deepest pain came when his closest friends des deserted and betrayed him. Yes, they betrayed him. What could possibly sustain him at such a dark moment? Jesus found his comfort in the scriptures. Matthew 26, 
Matthew 26, verses 20 through 25. And then it says 31. I don't know if that means do 31 or just verse 31. That's Matthew 26, verses 20 through 25 and verse 31. The scriptures kept everything in perspective for the Savior, holding him steadfast in the knowledge that everything he was experiencing was according to his Father's plan. According to his Father's plan, Jesus could proceed with confidence because the scriptures assured him that the Father was in control. Yes, he is in control. He's still on the throne and he is con he's in still in control. Praise the Lord. It says, never let the faithlessness of others determine what you do. Never let the faithlessness of others determine what you do. Turn to the scriptures and allow them to reorient, reorient you to God and his activity. Even as a young boy, Jesus was already well acquainted with the scriptures. Yes, he was. Okay. He was never surprised by events. He lived with confidence because the scriptures had prepared him for everything that he would face. Yes. If you will immerse yourself daily in the word of God, you will not be caught off guard when crisis comes. Amen. Your focus will already be on God and he will, he will safely guide you through your difficult moments. That's very true. That, that's a good one, too. That's a good one. All right. Now, the next one. Now, this is the one for today. Yes, indeed. Amen. Yes. This is the one for today, March the 29th. Tested yet secure. This is a good one. This will be a good one, I'm sure. Okay. I'll look back. Sit back. This is the one where some of the verses are blurry. Some of the words are blurry in it. Jesus dearly loved Peter. Jesus spoke to him specifically and said, Simon, Simon, Satan has made a request to sit, to sift all of you, plural, as wheat. But I have prayed for you, singular, that your faith will not fail. And when you, singular, have returned to me, strengthen your brothers, even as Jesus faced his imminent arrest and crucifixion. He took time to strengthen Peter for what was to come. He assured him that God had set limits on Satan's influence. He expressed his confidence that even though Peter's faith would falter, he would overcome to the point of strengthening others. Amen. Since Jesus himself was interceding for Peter, Peter might fall for a moment, but his life would ultimately be victorious. Yes, amen. And Jackie joined. Hello, Jackie. I'm glad you joined. God bless you, sweetie. The other Jackie. The other Jackie. Jesus is fully aware of every temptation and test you will encounter. I'm just reading my, my uh, daily devotions, honey. Jesus is fully aware of every temptation and test you will encounter, and his, and he stands re ready to deliver you. And that's 1 Corinthians 10, 13. Hello, Pastor Gloria. Well, hello, sweetie. Hello. All right, that's um, 1 Corinthians 10, 13. He intercedes for you just as he did for Peter. And that's Romans 8.34. Romans 8.34. And Hebrew 7.25. Now, 10.13. Uh, Romans 8.34. And Hebrew 7.25. Okay, temptation might catch you by surprise, but Jesus is already interceding with the Father on your behalf. Remember... That temptation is not a sin. When you are tempted, turn immediately to Jesus. Hebrews 7.25, yes. Remember, when you are tempted, turn immediately to Jesus. He will take you to the Father, and you will overcome the temptation. For Jesus has overcome everything you can face in the world. And that's 1 John 4.4. 4. Thank you again for the pretty hearts. The hearts for Jesus. 1 John 4.4. 4. Turn to Jesus, yes. When you are tested and are secure in the intercession of Jesus, you too will be able to strengthen others. Yes, yes. And we all, we all, you know, to pray for one another and lift one another up too. Okay, if you, if you are uh, grappling with temptation, Jesus, Jesus is 
interceding for you with the Father, even now. Be steadfast and encouraged. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. All right. I believe I've read all my... I've read them all, I think. Now we're going to do Psalms 91. I should have done that at the very beginning. And also I need to do the Lord's Prayer. Let's do the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us each day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. But lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen and amen. And they all said, Amen. Now Psalms 91. The Word of God. Psalms 91. Psalms 91. Psalms 91. Amen. Amen. Everybody says, Amen. Yes. Because we are going to be going through some dark days. We're going to be going through some tribulations. Dark days. Dark days. It's already it's already begun. It's already begun. Psalm 91. Amen. Yes. Jesus. Yes. Okay. Psalms 91. Here we go. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord... He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him will I trust. We put no trust or no faith in man, only in God, only in God. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Amen. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee, shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord which is my refuge, even the Most High thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread on the, upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample, trample under feet. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. The old devil's going to tempt us. The old devil's going to come at us in every way that he can. In every way he can. He, he does me. Yes, Jesus, have mercy on this world. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. So much wickedness. So much wickedness, evil. I've said this many times, like in the days of Sodom and Gomorrah, Lot. So much evil. And back to Noah and the ark. When he was building the ark, he tried to warn the people about the flood. They didn't listen. Warnings come before destruction. Amen. The people didn't listen and they perished. They perished. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And that's why the Lord has called, has called a lot of, the saints are rising up. Oh, so much going on. Yes. Yes. Hello. Yes. So much going on. And yes, the saints are rising up. The saints are rising up. There's a, good, there's a mighty revival. And we don't know the day. I'm going to say something. We don't know the day or the hour. We don't know the day. Hello. We don't know the day or the hour that he's coming. But make no mistake about it, he is coming. He's coming with all his glory. No man knows. That's right. Nobody knows the day or the hour. And not even the angels in heaven know. But when, when his father says, enough is enough, 
that he's going to send his son through them. He's going to send his son. Yes, he's coming soon. And that's why that, that people get mad at ministers, you know, and they don't want they don't want to hear the truth. They'll call us hypocrites. They'll call, even though they'll call us hypocrites because we're not perfect. We're not perfect. And he doesn't want perfect people. Jesus doesn't want perfect people. He can call anybody to preach his word, anybody. If he can call someone like me, someone like me, just a sinner saved by grace, mercy and grace, only he's perfect, exactly, only he's perfect. Yes. But in these, there goes the Holy Spirit. Wow. That's something, and the Holy Spirit washes over me. But in these last days, for, for Mandy joined, well, hello. God bless you. Welcome to my scope. I'm Pastor Gloria. Welcome to my scope. God bless you. But it's very important. You know, like I said earlier, it, it's sometimes it's hard because you can't really you can't really point your finger at people and say you're going to hell for this and you're going to hell for that. We don't have the right to do that. No, we don't. All we have to all we can do is go by what the word of the Lord says what this holy word right here says and people read it for themselves amen read it read it for the, for themselves read it for themselves and i love matthew 24 i love matthew 24 when i read that it just absolutely gets me down to the core boy when i read matthew 24 because it speaks the truth the Bible is truth, sharper than any two-edged sword. Even holding the word, even holding the word, I can feel his presence because it's, it is his holy word. It is his holy word. So anyway, I love you all. I'm glad that, that for, and to my replay viewers, I love you one and all. God bless you. And like I say, and... Pastor Gloria, please, please plead the blood of Jesus over, over and your protection and shield. Amen. I plead the blood of Jesus. Yes, we should all thank you. And we should all plead the blood of Jesus over all of our loved ones. We never know when we, never know when we leave the house. We never know. Like when we're out here at the mall. Somebody could come in here with a gun and start shooting. We never know. We never know. We have to be protected. We have to be protected. This world, again, like I said, this is this world is wicked, evil, wicked. And His Word said it right in here. Go from Genesis to Revelation. Genesis to Revelation. It's like, like I said before, it's like reading a newspaper. Bible prophecies are exploding. All you have to do is turn turn in the Bible and read the Bible, and the Bible tells what is going on in these days, in these end times. We're there. We're there, people. We're there. Pray for one another. Lift one another up. Love one another. Please keep me in prayer. I will, I will Sister Jackie. I will, sweetie. I will. Again, I love you all. I love you all. Again, I'm glad that you joined. And in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. I'll probably be on here later on tonight. I'm not going to make any promises, but I, I probably will. So I bid you all a good afternoon. Blessings to you all in Jesus' precious name. Yes, blessings to all of you. Stay prayed up. Armor up, put on the whole armor of God, the breastplate of righteousness, and the helmet of salvation to be able to, to, to overcome the wiles of the devil because he's going to ramp, he's ramping things up. He's ramping it up, people. He's ramping it up. He even make you, you doubt you, or make you, you question your own faith. It's nothing but the devil. It's nothing but the devil. Rebuke it. Rebuke him in the name of Jesus. Rebuke him. 
So on that note, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for now until till later on. I'll be back on here. I'm sure. Maybe Jordan will be on here with me tonight. Sometimes he does. Bless his heart. I love my grandson very very much. He, he's such a blessing to me. Such a blessing. A true blessing to me. So, alrighty, people. I'll let you go. I love you. Until later on. Okay. Bye-bye. I love you.